there was this wonderful uh, Raptors roundtable you can read on sportsnet.ca with Will Liu, Savannah Hamilton, Michael Grange, Steve Long, and Blake Murphy. Mm. So I wanted to run through a couple of these yeah, let's do it. With, with you guys. Absolutely. So Pascal, Pascal has said that he wants to be a top five player. He mm-hmm. came out and said it on media day. Um, what steps does he have to take to get closer to that goal, Savannah? Oh, what did I write again? <laughs> no. I could um, just read these. I know. I wrote I wrote this like yesterday. Um, but top five player is very ambitious. I'll say that first and foremost. So kudos to him for having that goal. I think he's like all-star. Psh. So let's be a top five player in the league instead. Uh, all-star is not good enough apparently. So, um, I mean, I appreciate the fact that he's taking that on. Um, if I was to look at his game, I think the biggest thing that he has to just be at this point is consistent. Um, it's consistent, continue to find creative ways to get to the rim, make plays. Um, and what would really throw his game like over the top, and I don't know if this is going to be a true factor in his arsenal this season. This is kind of a bit of a, a teller, but can he have a bit of a three-point shot? Like, Can he add more of a three-point threat to his game? Because then when he starts dropping more consistently 25s, 30s, even having maybe the odd 40-point night, okay, okay. You are in the conversation. Let's see like three of those games straight. Then we'll talk. I mean, just if, if a player averaged like 26 points, nine rebounds and, and six assists on a uh, 55 win team, w- would you call them a, f- a top five? Player? Yeah. Is, are you going to tell me this was uh, Pascal's numbers? No, like, no, no, no. After what, what, I mean, no, 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 it's not. I mean, I'm just saying like, what would you, would you consider that a, yeah, a of top course. five player? Yeah. Like, oh, he'll be in the consideration. The thing is top five is like, it's, it's very difficult because you could be like, Steph, yeah, LeBron, KD, Giannis, KD, Kawhi, Joel, you, Jokic, yeah, Luca. Like you know, it's, you could it's, go fifteen. Yeah, probably yeah, go no, fifteen the, players. The, the players yeah. are really good, but the thing is, like to me, like that's his sort of path. Is like, can he just add a few more points to his game? Because actually, he has the other aspects down. I think he plays the defensive end really strong. He's obviously able to set up his teammates. Probably could do that even a little bit more. Uh, just depends on how much he has the ball, which I think he's going to have a lot this season. But it's like, can he add, like what David Thorpe said on the show yesterday, can he add like two or three more points just on free throws alone? Because he plays a lot in the paint. Can he draw some more fouls, right? Yeah. Get a little bit more efficient on that end. He was already shooting 50% from the field last year, which is pretty good. But, you know, as like Savannah said, you added one more three to your game. You had one more three, you hit two more free throws, you're at 27 points per game. Mm-hmm. You tell me a player with 27, 9, and 6, which is a realistic average for him this year. It's probably the upper end. But... And, and if the Raptors are a top two team in the Eastern Conference, which I think, again, that's probably their upper end in terms of their potential. Yeah, you could you could talk yourself into that mix. Like, you know, when people talk about Jason Tatum entering that mix, it's sort of the same sort of formula, right? Mm. Um, it's ambitious, but why not set goals? I, I don't, I, I like, I actually admire that about Pascal. I think people probably still have lingering doubts. That's fair. I don't think he like looks as visually smooth, let's say, as even a guy like Jason Tatum, but... I think the effectiveness on the court uh, shows up in the box score. And again, if they translate the wins, then that's how you get yourself in those combos. He did tell me, um, even like last season going into it, uh, coming off the shoulder surgery, that like I asked him, and this is when he was coming off that awful Tampa season, right? Yeah. Um, he was like, yeah, my mentality completely changed going into this season, right? This last year. And I was like, okay, what's changed? He's like, I'm setting goals now. I was like, okay. Oh, and then okay. he said to me at one point, he's like, why can't I be an MVP? And I was like, Pascal. I'm like, this was, again, coming off a bad Tampa season, right? Mm -hmm. But since that conversation last year, how much growth we've seen in the second half of the season, especially in his game, to now it's like, you know, he's not that far off base. And putting himself in the top five position would put him in an MVP conversation. Totally. Yeah, no, and I think think you guys bring up a good point, too, when it comes to, like, talking about these individual players. I think David Thorpe said this yesterday, too. I mean, he also said, um, you know, he also suggested an OG and an OB for Terry Rozier. Hey, listen, Trey, man. Which, we, uh, which you can discuss with Blake Murphy tomorrow. Look, we we, we yeah. love we love Coach David Thorpe. We love Coach Thorpe. We, we, yeah. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Um, I disagree with that take. That's all. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it was like in the last minute um, of, of the yeah. show before yeah. you had to, you yeah, know, leave right. and push back. Rozier but, is nice, though. I like Rozier. Yeah, He'd be a nice trade candidate for... Uh, a lot of teams, actually. Yeah, shout out to Emma J. Play. Brown. No, but David Thor was saying, like, when you talk about how Pascal and Scotty and these players can improve and where they can be, it's like so much of it is just dependent on the team being successful as well, right? Yeah. Like, Pascal p- could put up the same numbers, but if the Raptors are a play-in team versus if they're a number two seed, mm-hmm. it's a whole different conversation of how people talk about him. Yeah, uh, he's not LeBron, I mean. <laughs> 
LeBron could put up 27, uh, <laughs> six, eight, and nine or whatever. Yo, ESPN and, and, put up a graphic of LeBron seat. in all his different jerseys yesterday. I'm like, how many LeBrons are we covering okay, this but, year? But I thought it was a little bit, uh, I mean, shouldn't be surprising, but I thought it was still a little bit rude that the Raptors didn't have a single highlight in that NBA opening night. Oh, they weren't included? They were not. A surprise. Yeah. We're not included again, the, which was actually pretty sick because they did a that's so Raven like throwback mashup. Oh they yeah, mixed it with. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah, the, that's so, okay. I Raptors wasn't paying could. attention to see I, if the Raptors were. I mean, I was. I excluded. had to watch it back twice because, like, I was like, "Oh, this is catchy," and then like, "Wait, yeah. wait, wait!" Like, we see this. Was there any Raptors highlights in this? Yeah. I, are, I didn't catch any. Are they even any. on ESPN this year? Probably once against Kyle. Maybe. Yeah. That's. I guess we should know that. But I, I, if I had to guess, it'd be less than five. Yeah. <laughs> Over <laughs> under. <laughs> Ten. Yeah, under. Yeah. But yeah, no, I think I think there's a lot of excitement about Pascal and, and Scotty. Yeah, season. of course. I mean, again, I think the thing is just like it's important for the team to win. I think if everyone stays healthy, they play defense at an elite level. Like I think the realistic goal for the Raptors should be top five defensively, and then slightly above league average offensively. Let's say like eleventh or twelfth. Um, guys stay healthy. Like I, this is a fifty plus win team. Um, and yeah, and then after that, Pascal being what he does in terms of his importance to the team. And then Scotty making a jump and all, all the excitement about him and also just his his natural talent, man. Like he he just he's so gifted. Um they'll get their they'll get the rewards and all that stuff. 